Okay, this is my sword that I got. It was a, uh, kind of like a sale where someone they have a storage locker and they didn't pay for it. And this was in here. It was wrapped up in some oily rags. And, and I'm trying to figure out, like, who was manufactured by anything else. So, if you have any ideas, you know, let me know. I'm going to post this on Facebook. Not Facebook, um, yeah, YouTube. Okay, as you can see, the sheath, kind of a cheap looking sheath, the handles made out of, I believe, maybe fiberglass, some kind of hardwood, hold up a little bit better, I mean, it's some kind of wood, there was something on here before, I don't know what, I think there was like leather, or some kind of cord wrapping, I don't know, someone took it off a long time ago. And, you know, the sheath, it's this little plain looking sheath. Kind of decorative. And, check it out. This is the blade. You can see it's kind of a little bit cruddy. It's made out of carbon steel. I mean, I remember, uh, so I used to have a lot of old gun magazines. I remember seeing an ad for company that used to make these swords, I don't remember exactly what they were called, maybe they were like Knight's Armory, Swords Armory, something like that, and they used to make swords like this, I believe, saw one like that, I've never seen one that looks similar to this, even the cheap ones, I haven't seen one that looks like this, I don't know who made it, there's no manufacturer marks at all on the blade, it's plain, it's unadorned, it's carbon steel, I believe, because it's very rusty. I mean, if it was stainless steel, it wouldn't be this rusty, because I have a lot of stainless steel blades, and they're not rusty like this. Also, the handguard, it's, you know, the brass is kind of turning green. And just the way it was assembled, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's weird, because there's not. I mean, the blade goes straight into the handle. And it seems like the guard is somehow chemically bonded or welded on there. I mean, it's not, there's nothing, just, I mean, this being, this is just being held together with, I don't know, some kind of bond. At the very end, very end right here, let's see if you can see in the picture, but it's like this fine little seam. And it's like the wood and the metal are, are one. Up close, you can see it's like that too. Around here, kind of hold it up at an angle, maybe you can see it better. And, I don't know, I mean, I have no idea who made this. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Back on regular. This is how it looks next to the sheath. So if you have any idea who made this or where it came from, you know, that'd really be helpful. I mean, it's a good sword. I've been using it, and it's very sharp. I don't have anything out here to demonstrate its sharpness, but it's sharp. I mean, I can just feel my finger and it's sharp. There's also, there's no hormone on here. Or if there was, it's all it's gone now. I mean... You can barely, I mean, you can, I mean, there's a nice, it's pretty sharp. I don't know, I guess I've already said that. So, if you have any idea where this came from, that'd be kind of nice to know. Any information about it. So, I guess that's it. Do one last parting shot.